there is not responsibility. Is it question, question number 11, Reno Tirukapna. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Health. What major capital projects is the Minister progressing in the health portfolio? The Mr. Honourable Dr David Clark. Mr Speaker, uh, we have inherited a long list of building problems that require attention. Among the immediate priorities are work on Middlemore's Scott Building and the rebuild of the Dunedin Hospital, where, because of asbestos, staff are having to recover patient records in hazmat suits. The upcoming budget will include a significant injection of capital funding to tackle the most urgent issues and start addressing the underinvestment of the last nine years. Supplementary. Why is there such a backlog of building issues in health? Uh, Mr Speaker, I think it's clear to New Zealanders that the public health service has been neglected over the last nine years in pursuit of surpluses and order, tax cuts. Order, we, order, order. The member will resume his seat. To give that sort of answer, it's got to hang it on something he has responsibility for. Further supplementary, Reno Turkartner. What planning is underway to avoid the mould, rot and sewerage issues experienced at Middlemore Hospital? Uh, Mr Speaker, there are clear processes in place for district health boards to put forward capital projects for funding. However, I am concerned that there is no comprehensive assessment of the state of our health assets, and I have work underway to address this. We need a proper at national asset management plan so we can make sure New Zealanders get treated in quality facilities and we don't have to see routinely asbestos hazard signs up in our public hospitals. I have with me a photo of some recent visitors to Dunedin Hospital making their way past asbestos hazard signs, including the current and former opposition health spokespersons. Supplementary question, Michael Woodhouse. Is the minister prepared to release the advice on a $14 billion funding gap that he uh, has mentioned today and the Minister of Finance mentioned today and in his post-Cabinet press conference? Um, I will consider that. <laughs> Order. Yes, and, 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 the, and the member had finished using the visual aid and should not have used it again. And for that reason, if Mr Waterhouse wants to have another question, he may. Apart from Middlemore Hospital's uh, leaky buildings issue and the Dunedin Hospital uh, situation, can the Minister name any other asset uh, issues that were not previously made public by his or the previous government? Oh, Mr Speaker, I have encountered many, many issues in my time as uh, Minister. Uh, just to name one, uh, in Nelson Marlborough, their buildings clearly need replacing with the fullness of time. There are plenty of buildings around the country and we need to understand better and have a baseline so that we can have a comprehensive assessment. That's why I've asked for a national asset management plan, because there is no, no comprehensive assessment of which buildings are at what standard, and that is an absolute shame and a sign of the neglect of the last nine years. Question number 12, Andrew Bailey. Thank you, Mr Speaker.